Welcome to the Deep Dive. Great to be here. Today we're looking at something pretty fascinating, actually. Europe, about 41,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. And specifically, how a, well, a wobble in Earth's magnetic field might connect to early humans and Neanderthals. Exactly. Our sort of mission here is to unpack how this geological event could have, you know, influenced who stuck around and who didn't. We're drawing on some new research. Yeah, it's this idea that a natural planetary process might have had these um, knock-on effects for survival. So the core question is, did this natural event give Homo sapiens an edge? That's what we're digging into. Okay, let's start there. 41,000 years ago, you mentioned the magnetic field. The Le Champs excursion, right? What was that? Right, so Earth's magnetic field isn't static, it wanders. The Le Champs excursion around that time was a period where it weakened significantly. Weakened how much? Quite a lot, actually. Yeah. And the magnetic North Pole, uh, it took a big detour, ending up somewhere over Europe for a while. It wasn't a full flip-flop, but a major weakening and shift. And this is a natural thing. It happens. Oh, yeah. It's a recurring process over geological time. This was just one instance. Okay, so a weaker magnetic field. What does that actually mean for life on the surface? Well, think of the magnetic field as Earth's shield. It protects us from solar wind, cosmic rays, mm. nasty stuff from space. Like UV radiation. Exactly. Right. Especially the harmful UVB and UVC. When the shield weakens, like during the Le Champs event, more of that radiation gets through. Particularly in certain areas? Yes, particularly at higher latitudes. Mm -hmm. So Europe would have been getting a much higher dose. Yikes. So basically more intense, dangerous sunlight. That's a good way to put it. And there's more. Oh. The weaker field likely meant auroras, you know, the northern lights, mm -hmm. could be seen much further south, closer to the equator. Wow. And probably an increase in what's called mutagenic radiation, stuff that can damage DNA, even at lower latitudes. The whole planet became a bit more hazardous, but Europe really felt that increased UV risk. Okay, a much tougher place to live. So how does this connect to Homo sapiens and Neanderthals? There's research suggesting Homo sapiens had some advantages. Right, this is the interesting part. Research like that from the University of Michigan we looked at points to Homo sapiens developing or using certain technologies more consistently around this time. Such as? Well, tailored clothing, for one. Mm. Not just hides draped over the shoulder, but actual fitted garments. Okay, better protection from the cold, obviously, but maybe the sun, too. Uh, potentially, yes. Better <laughs> physical coverage. And then there's ochre. Red ochre. I know they used it for symbolic stuff, but... True. But ochre also has properties that help block UV radiation when applied to the skin. We see evidence of its increased use. Ah, like a natural sunscreen. Clever. Could be. And also um, just making better use of natural shelters, like caves. Right, getting out of that intense sunlight. So clothing, ochre, caves, Homo sapiens seems to be adapting. What about the Neanderthals? Well, that's the contrast. The evidence for Neanderthals widely using these specific things, tailored clothes, widespread ochre sunscreen, it just isn't really there in the same way. And they disappeared around then, didn't they? About 40,000 years ago. Roughly, yes. Their populations were declining, and they eventually vanished from Europe right around this period of environmental stress. So the research suggests a link. Their lack of these adaptations might have made them more vulnerable to the effects of the Le Champs excursion. It's a strong possibility hinted at by the research. Not that the magnetic field change directly wiped them out, perhaps, but that it created conditions where Homo sapiens innovations gave them a crucial survival advantage. So the takeaway isn't just magnetic field shift caused extinction, but more nuanced. Exactly. It's more like the environmental pressure ramped up because of this geological event, and Homo sapiens, perhaps because of these cultural or technological adaptations, were better equipped to handle it. Those innovations might have been key for their survival and spread across Europe and Asia during a really challenging time. That's what the evidence seems to suggest. A fascinating link between planetary science and human evolution. It really is that connection between, you know, the planet's magnetic field doing its thing and the fate of different human groups. It's quite something. Hmm? Makes you think. It does. It makes you wonder what other seemingly unrelated background events, geological or climatic, might have subtly shaped our history in ways we haven't fully appreciated yet. Maybe adapting to the planet was always the name of the game. A very interesting thought to leave on. Indeed. Thanks for diving into this with us.